Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Firefly Lunar Lander concludes NASA mission with 10 deliveries. Beyond Aero reveals modified H2 electric jet and fourth annual Hydrogen Aviation Symposium in April. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Firefly Lunar Lander concludes NASA mission with 10 deliveries. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander successfully completed its NASA mission on March 16th after dropping off 10 instruments and capturing several photos and videos. Joel Curran's Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration of NASA's Science Mission Directorate said, quote, Operating on the moon is complex. Carrying 10 payloads, more than has ever flown on a CLPS delivery before, makes the mission that much more impressive, end quote. The Firefly Aerospace Blue Ghost Mission 1 launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 15th. 45 days, 2.8 million miles, and 27 gigs of data downlinking later, it arrived on the moon's Mare Crisium at around 2.34 a.m. on March 2nd. The landing was upright, stable, and within 100 meters of its landing target near Mont Latriel, making Firefly the first commercial company to have its tech successfully touch down on the moon. The lander remained on the moon for around 14 Earth days and dropped off 10 NASA science and technology instruments to the Mare Crisium Basin. The payloads went off to complete their own missions, drilling up to three feet down, tracking global navigation satellite system signals, removing lunar soil using electrodynamic forces, studying the moon's interior, and more. Blue Ghost also captured extensive footage during its stay, including a total solar eclipse and a sunset. After the break, Zero Avia hires former FAA Administrator Billy Nolan. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. Zero Avia hires former FAA Administrator Billy Nolan. Zero Avia announced it has appointed Billy Nolan to a role as Senior Strategy and Regulatory Advisor for the company. He has extensive experience in aviation as an airline pilot and executive and as a former FAA Administrator. Nolan will lead the Zero Avia team in accelerating the company's drive to certify its 600 kilowatt electric propulsion system and its full hydrogen powertrain. The company recently announced it had reached a significant regulatory landmark with the issuance of an FAA G1 issue paper for the 600 kilowatt electric system. VFS names 2025 award recipients. The Vertical Flight Society has announced the 2025 recipients of its awards program. Angelo Collins, executive director of the VFS, said, quote, Since Igor Sikorsky and General H. Franklin Gregory were first honored in 1944, the Vertical Flight Society has been recognizing the leading contributors to advancing vertical flight. This year's honorees have made lasting contributions that continue to shape the past, present, and future of vertical flight, end quote. The recipients will be honored at the Grand Awards Banquet on May 22nd at the 81st Annual Forum and Technology Display. Innovative drone penetrates and jams swarms from within. Fractal Antenna Systems, inventor of antennas with fractal geometry, announced the unveiling of a miniaturized drone antenna that enables operators to defeat swarms of adversarial drones with a new option known as the Feather Antenna, a patented and patent-pending antenna that combines small size with wideband coverage, low weight, and radar visibility to change the balance in drone warfare. 
Merlin receives TSO authorization for remote data concentrator. Merlin, a developer of autonomous flight technology for fixed-wing aircraft, announced it has received FAA technical standard order authorization for its remote data concentrator, developed in partnership with Shaden Avionics. The approval means Merlin can proceed with the production of certified advanced automation for aircraft and represents a major advance in the flight test program of its certification-ready autonomy platform. The RDC receives analog data from existing and new aircraft sensors and converts it into a digital format sent to Merlin's flight control computers. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Beyond Aero reveals modified H2 electric jet. Beyond Aero announced the unveiling of a modified design concept incorporating significant engineering advancements for its light jet to move forward toward certification and commercialization. The Toulouse-France-based aircraft manufacturer introduced refinements to reduce the risk of the hydrogen gas fuel tanks in its BYA-1, the first clean-sheet hydrogen electric jet design optimized for the use of gaseous hydrogen. The design mods lower maintenance and operational costs, with an all-electric powertrain with 90% fewer moving parts, elimination of the need for a high-temperature turbine, and a modular engine swap system. The hydrogen fuel is expected to lower fuel costs by 65% versus SAFs by 2025 and 17% versus Jet 1 by 2030. The key design modifications are 1. Gaseous hydrogen tank placement. The 700 bar fuel tanks are installed above the wing box structure, eliminating high pressure fuel lines inside the pressurized cabin. 2. Battery free hydrogen fuel cell system with built in redundancy. The modular architecture features two electric engines powered by independent power plant channels. The fuel cell stack capacity has increased to 2.4 megawatts. And three, thermal management system for electric ducted fans. This system includes integrated electric ducted fans and a FADEX system to be certified under a TC engine framework. Beyond Aero is actively working closely with EASA on gaining regulatory approval to ensure its safety and certification standards. After these messages, 4th Annual Hydrogen Aviation Symposium in April. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Fourth Annual Hydrogen Aviation Symposium in April. The Vertical Flight Society announced it's holding its fourth annual H2 Aero Symposium on April 2nd through 3rd in Long Beach, California. The theme for this year's H2 Aero Symposium is Pushing the Envelope and will include real-world demonstrations shown in presentations by hydrogen and aerospace companies such as Boeing, H2Fly, Hydroplane, Joby Aviation, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, Piazeki Aircraft, and Zero Avia. Demos will also be presented by hydrogen drone developers, including Aurora Flight Sciences and Unmanned Aerospace, as well as hydrogen tech companies Gloyer Taylor Labs, H2MOF, Honeywell, PowerCell, and Unither Bioelectronics. Jesse Schneider, CEO and CTO of Zev Station and H2 Aero Symposium Chair, said, quote, This year's symposium features keynotes from around the globe with the goal of decarbonizing aviation with hydrogen. Leading experts from governments, aircraft, hydrogen, and fuel cell industries will present groundbreaking advances pushing the envelope in hydrogen aviation, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.